It looked like it would all end in a standoff. Loyalist protesters blocked what they thought was a convoy carrying Jerry Adams to freedom. The angry impasse went on for several minutes. But a short distance away from a separate exit, the real Adams cavalcade was making its departure unhindered, racing towards a press conference in Belfast. Jerry Adams arrived a hero to his supporters and immediately addressed accusations about the IRA murder of Jean McConville in 1972. I'm conscious that there is another family at the heart of all of this, and that is the family of Jean McConville. Let me be very clear. I am innocent of any involvement in any conspiracy to abduct, kill, or bury Mrs. McConville. I've worked hard with others to have this injustice redressed and for the return of the bodies of others killed during the conflict. He went on to talk about a dark side in Northern Ireland that had no interest in peace. I'm an Irish Republican. I want to live in a peaceful Ireland based on equality. I've never dissociated myself from the IRA and I never will. But I'm glad that I and others have created a peaceful and democratic way forward for everyone. The IRA is gone. It's finished. Mr Adams told his press conference here that he wrote much of his statement in his cell. He criticised the so-called Boston College tape recordings that led to the most recent allegations, describing them as dubious accusations from disgruntled individuals. Jerry Adams still faces the possibility of charges. A police file of hours of interrogation will be sent to prosecutors. If they think a trial is justified and in the public interest, they will proceed. Tim Friend, Al Jazeera, Belfast.